13 I'm back with another video uh, today's video is me I'm talking about basically why I went with the 5.7 RT and also how much did I pay for my 5.7 RT uh, the reason why I make this video is because you know, like, of course I've seen other YouTubers and everything and um, you know, I see that you know, like, it's a lot of people ask questions like how much would it cost to get one of these cars um, and also, I made videos of me driving my friend Scat, and you know I, I loved it. I, I, I love driving a Scat, man. That's, like, the thing is powerful, and that's why I got one of these cars. I wanted the power, right? And you know, even my dad would ask, like, okay, well, if you like, if you like all that power and the speed of the car, why did you get? Why didn't you just, you know, spend a couple extra, you know, cash and get get something you wanted? So a few reasons. One of them is you know, I wanted the 5.7 um, because I saw it as a more reliable vehicle um, and something that you know I, I can add to. And um, you know, there's a lot of work you can do to the 5.7 to make it extremely powerful. So one of the main reasons is you know, I know that Dodge has made the the 5.7 for quite a while. So the 5.7 engine is actually an engine that, you know, that I would say is a, the Dodge has a lot of experience with, you know, and so due to that experiences, you know, if things were to, you know, break down, whatever, you know, like, you know, the Dodge can fix it. Of course they can fix the 6.4, you know, but I trust that the 5.7 is going to have less, uh, less room to, you know, break down or mess up, you know, the, the 6.4 engine, was a 6.1 engine and stuff like those are newer engines um you know it is 2019 you know so so i know that that, that of course dodge and did the research and you know they did what they could with it and you know they they perfected the engine um but i just trust the 57 more just because of the decades of experiences of making a, a 57 engine right i find it more reliable i, I see myself like if I see the 57 engine not breaking down in the future or not having any problems because you know we, we never know you know this guy might have problems in the future you never know um, so anyways that was one of the main reasons why I went with the 57 and then also I went with the 57 due to uh, you know even expenses like just daily expenses um, so for example with my 57 uh, it was supposed to be I believe 35k and with rebates and everything um it brought it down to about like what 33 and that's the thing is that whenever you buy a car you still have to consider taxes it's one thing a lot of people don't consider you know so a lot of times what what car dealers will do that just say oh it's all there's these rebates on the car you know two thousand five hundred dollars off whatever you know but then you end up paying the same amount in you know taxes licenses and fees and all that all that stuff right so i'm not even going to count that i'm just going to say i got it for 35 uh k 35 000. uh and then you know like last minute uh, I, I i threw in a, a trade-in you know so that's that's one thing that i, I see my parents do before you know where they'll go talk to dealerships and then they'll, they'll talk it down talk it down talk it down you know and then once they once they get down to uh, whatever price they like it at, and then the person's like, okay, I, I can do this. Boom, they throw in a trade in. You know, so they throw in a trade in, and the dealer's like, God damn, dude, like, okay, so now I gotta, I already committed to this this price, and now I gotta see what I can commit for the trade in. So anyway, so I, I did a trade in. I had a 2015 Ford Focus. Um, you know, it was. I, I'm not really a big fan of Ford, uh, mainly because of that car. I had a lot of issues with the car even being brand new uh so anyways you know like i went i traded in the the 2015 ford focus got like probably a little bit a little bit over like four thousand ports like not too much um so i basically ended up getting it for you know about 31 32k for for the the charger rt um and also one thing i like about this one is that it's a super track back edition so it has it has you know, like, like a active exhaust on it it has like the really cool hood scoop you know and this this hood scoop that these dodges have now i just think that thing is like it's gonna like it's gonna become an iconic like 
image of the vehicle in the future, you know. Uh, so, anyways, the, those kind of reasons why I went with the five seven um, to go more to expen expenses, also my insurance. Um, I, I do have two cars in my insurance, and I pay about three hundred dollars. Um, I, I, I insure with USAA, so. You know, I pay about three hundred dollars for two cars. So let's say you split in half, one hundred fifty dollars. You know, like um, if I had if I had the scat, it would have went up. I, I, I believe they said about an extra hundred dollars or so. So that's, to me, it's extra hundred dollars I'm saving every month. Um, even the gas. You know, like uh, I I do work close to home, so I'm not driving too far away. But even with the gas, you know, I don't, like my friend with the scat, he just got back from Korea and he filled up like like two times in the same week, two, two to almost three times in the same week, you know. Um, so that's just, that, that's a lot of money on gas that he's, he's spending that I'm not, you know. So there's another reason gas, you know, like I, I didn't want to go ahead and spend, you know, like $150 every week on gas, you know. So now I'm spending about, let's say, uh, about, like a tank will get me like about 45 to $50 for the tank. Um, I usually try to fill it up when it's at about a quarter tank. Um, so right now I'm spending, let's say every week, roughly ballpark 60, 70 bucks on gas every week. That's not too bad. So in, in a month's time frame, you know, it's probably 240 to 260 dollars of gas every, every month. You know, right there is, is, a, is a money saver. Um, you know, and then. You know, also like I guess one of the biggest reasons I like I like to be kind of like like the underdog kind of things. You know, like I like I like when people see like oh he has a five seven and they don't think it's fast. You know, but by putting the work, the money, you know, practice, you know, practice with the car and everything. Like uh, I surprised a lot of people. You know, like you know, I did. You know, I went to Mexico a few times with some of the friends. Um, you know, I think it was about like, ten races I had. I won eight of the ten. The first one uh, I should have won was my first time over there, so I didn't know how they're gonna say ready, set, go. So I took off like a second or two after the other vehicle did. And the other, and then the second vehicle I lost to was a uh, actually it was an SS Camaro, and this thing was this thing was modded pretty nicely actually. Um, I had him in the first like zero to sixty, and then you know it's mods and everything you start kicking in and you just start slowly slowly passing um but it's like things like that you know like a lot of people really didn't expect that from a 5.7 you know it was like god yeah, dang man. like you like must have done some work to it and I, i've done some work you know but a lot of it is not just the work but also the practice behind you know your driving how you take off you know how you um you know like i guess mainly how you take off is from the dig you know or even like let's say from a roll you know how do you how do you drop your gears or how do you how do you set it up uh you know so you know for me it's like oh then also sorry gotta go back to the payments uh, i didn't go into how much i pay monthly uh i got the paying about 540 a month for this car like to actually buy the car and have it so if i were to go off monthly expenses 540 540 a month um got the car for close to thirty thousand, so five forty a month. Uh, what I say about close to a hundred and fifty dollars for for, uh, for insurance. Okay, so that's going to go up to uh, what's that six ninety. Um, let's say two two fifty a month for gas. You know, so that's going to be what so be about nine forty. You know, so I'm paying about nine hundred forty dollars a month basically to have and maintain this vehicle and. You know, basically, I just want to do this video because I, like, I like people to know that it's really not, not that, it's not that hard to, to get what you want. You know, um, of course, in the future, like, I would like to have a, a Hellcat. The Hellcat is, is, is like a beautiful car. Like, I just love everything about the Hellcat. You know, like, I actually plan on putting like a, a supercharger in, in this car. Um, I saw, I saw like pictures and stuff like that. Like, they did uh, people with the RT, and they'll put like. They're getting like a Hellcat like supercharger for it. So I eventually want to do that. And you know, like I could have went with the Hellcat. You know, but all the same time, uh, price-wise, MSRP price was gonna be about double what the RT was. 
So already, if I were to you know, do the math, I'd be paying double every month just to maintain the car. So that's gonna be what, like a thousand and eighty. You know, say if it was double, you know, hypothetically, a thousand and eighty bucks. And to have an RT and pay for the insurance and everything, maintain it, you want to pay like what was that like, like nine hundred forty dollars said earlier. So with that, is it's a money saver, and then you know I have the possibilities of doing more with the engine, and I have. The peace of mind that the engine's gonna be reliable and like nothing's gonna nothing's gonna break down, nothing's gonna happen to it. You see what I mean? So to me, I just saw it as like an overall good investment. You know, um, I do. Have, of course, I do have a family and stuff like that, so I do want to. I just wanted a bigger car, but I also wanted a sports car. You know, um, I do like that. I do like that the Chargers have four doors. It's something that's really awesome. And, you know, so I guess I, those are the main reasons why I went with the five seven, and that's you know how much I pay every month. You know, um, you guys were to think about like, like yeah, it sounds like a lot paying every month, but you know you get um, on average you get about two checks every month, right? And then also you know, nowadays like jobs are starting to pay more and this and that. Like, like I just want everybody to know that yeah, this stuff is possible. You know, yeah, I don't have a Hellcat. You know, like. I'm not gonna sit here and talk about motivation. Like, oh yeah, like, everybody can get a Hellcat and Lambo and stuff like that. Oh, like, even just the RT is a really good, reliable car. You know, I love the RT. I think it's an amazing vehicle. You know, like one thing I was always told was, well, not always told. One thing I read uh, as a little quote was uh, this guy. He said, I don't remember exact words, but I know that he said, uh, the day that you give up on your goal is when it becomes a dream. And that's the thing is that if you want to make it somewhere, if you want something, if you want to have certain things, you know, you can't just dream about it. You know, you gotta do something. You gotta actually do something, take some action, do something in order to, to have what you want or be where you want to be. You know, whether it's having RT or whether it's having a Hellcat or whatever, you know, um, there's always stepping stones that everybody can take to get to where they want. You just gotta make a plan. First, have a goal, make a plan, and then take action on it. Don't give up. You don't want to be one of those people who give up on something and then, you know, see someone else who didn't give up and they had the things that you want. You know, and that's the thing about living. If you live, you gotta, you gotta take what you want. You don't only, it's gonna be cheesy, but you only, you only have one life. You know, like everybody says you only have one life, but you gotta make the most of it. If you're not making the most of it, then you know you're just almost like a robot just going throughout life following orders this and that you know like so i guess the only thing i can say to you guys is if you want something go for it take it you know like don't sit here and let other people take it before you you know so that will conclude the video guys you know it's marcus eprt go ahead please like subscribe Push the notification bell that we can stay up to date my videos. You know, today is like my second video for YouTube. I'll be editing it and posting it probably tomorrow. So, you know, I'm just trying to stay ahead. You know, that's one thing I thought about. I gave up a little bit uh, on YouTube, but I don't, I don't want to give up on it. You know, I think it's really fun. It's like a hobby, more, more or less, you know. It's kind of like working on my car, like it's a hobby. So, you guys, make sure, you know, like I said, like, subscribe. I really appreciate that. If you have a goal, 